only is today Valentine's Day, but February is also American Heart Month. And mm. here in the U.S., heart transplants are the third most common organ transplant. A lot done right here at home. I recently sat down with one transplant survivor who's now making it his mission to raise awareness and offer gratitude. Two years ago, Mark Nelson's active schedule drastically changed venues, moving from youth soccer fields as a referee to hospitals and specialty clinics as a patient. I don't need none of that. I'm in denial. I want to go home. An enlarged heart, extreme difficulty breathing, a grim outlook as heart failure set in. Your heartbeat should pump out 55 to 65 percent of the blood in it with each beat. Mine was pumping out less than 20 percent. No prior history, you know, that would predispose him to this condition, uh, but became quite sick very quickly. Nelson came to Ochsner Medical Center in New Orleans, hoping for a miracle, but receiving a new heart was a long shot. I laid in that bed and I told Annetta, I said, Annetta, I told her that I gave up. I said, tell him I'll have that LVAD. I'm not going to get a heart. I give up. The lowest moment of my life. Finding the right donor at the right time is sometimes, you know, unfortunately not possible despite all the efforts. She came up to me and she said, no, Mark, we're not going to give up. We're going to keep praying and we're going to take every minute that we have available and we're going to hang in there. I said, you know, you're right. We don't quit. We don't give up. Two hours later, everything changed. The words that changed my life, uh, Mr. Nelson, we have a heart for you and it's a perfect match. A successful heart transplant with a donor from Florida, providing Nelson a new lease on life. This was not done in vain and that I will, I will live my life the fullest and try to give back to, to Oshner, to Lopa, to all donors out there the best I can for the rest of my time I'm here. He recovered very quickly and was able to get back to his baseline. You know, he's working, you know, full time, doing what he loves to do. This is what it was all about for me, so. Two years after his surgery, Nelson continues to thrive, approaching each day with a profound appreciation. I'm eternally grateful each and every day. I uh, give thanks that I had the ability to uh, appreciate everything that happened to me and I look forward to doing it for the rest of my time and with each beat that I have. Yeah, you really sense the appreciation, the gratitude coming from Mr. Mark Nelson, who maintains weekly contact with that donor family in Florida. He even had them visit Louisiana last fall. He says they're his family now. He's also back on the soccer field. He works at orthopedics as well, so he's busy. The mindset of helping others and over at the Oxner Transplant Institute, approximately 25 patients each and every year receive a new heart and a new lease on life. Really great work. Thank you for that story, Chad.